as a duck hunter and, and, and myself as a lifelong duck hunter is I want to get every bird that I harvest. I, I don't want to lose a bird. That's wasted game to me and that's that's not being an ethical hunter. And uh, I, that's why we have dogs, you know, their, their abilities to hunt and their natural instincts will help us be, you know, good stewards of the land. And uh, when we talk about a grand champion, that's the ultimate conservation tool in our program and in our philosophies is that's a dog that can get any bird that's, that's shot down. He can use his nose, he can use voice commands, all those things to get every bird and not waste any game. Um, he's a, a, you know, a gentleman in the boat, he's a gentleman in the blind, you know, he's not disturbing the hunt and making it unsafe and, and running off game and, you know, th those kinds of things. At the Grand, you have five tests. There will be two water retrieving series, two land retrieving series, and the fifth series will be an upland quartering test. Um, in the retrieving series, you'll have a triple marked retrieve. That'll be ducks that the dogs saw go down, that the hunter engaged with a shotgun and shot, and, uh, you know, and, and it's all simulated. And then there will be a blind retrieve uh, where the dog did not see the, the duck go down, and they'll be directed with commands, with whistle commands, hand signals, and voice commands. And uh, so that'll happen both on land and water. And there will be uh, two series that you'll have an honor where you will sit there while another dog is uh, shooting their marks and remain quiet and not disturb their hunt. And then, uh, and then two of the series will have what's called a diversion, and that's a bird after they've picked up their marked retrieves that's thrown to, to test their ability to complete one retrieve before they go for another bird. And so that's, that's the retrieving series. And then when you go to the fifth series, it's a quartering for upland birds. Um, we have hen pheasants at, at this uh, venue uh, here in Tennessee. And so they'll quarter and flush and be steady to wing and shot and then retrieve shot birds and deliver to hand. And then they will also honor another dog during that test also. The standard weekend test, it's a pass or fail and you're judged on two series. At the Grand, we have five series as I explained. And uh, it's judged on a point system because it is an elimination. We're trying to define a grand champion here. So um, the satisfactory score, meaning that you met the standard that the judges are looking for and their expectations is a two. And you would, you would like to receive a two from both judges. And uh, if you had a little bobble, you know, you had to handle on a marked retrieve or your blind retrieve wasn't as smooth as you would like to see or the dog wasn't steady at the line or something, you can be marked down to a score of one from both judges and that's a marginal score. Um, and then if you're unsatisfactory, meaning you don't meet the standards, you're not able to pick the birds up, you're not able to run the blind efficiently, or your dog was you know, not in grand standard control at the line, then you would receive a zero. And at any time that you receive a zero, you're eliminated from the event. So we'll start with 950-ish dogs is what we had entered. And uh, we're around 20, 25%, you know, 20 to 25% pass rate. And that's the point system keeps us in that consistency. So it makes it fair and consistent throughout and you're competing against the judge's standard, not against each other. So, um, you, and you wanna carry those scores um, to carry you to the next series and you, you can only get a uh, score of one from both judges one time during the event. And uh, so if you get another series that you, uh, you get a sc score of one from both judges, then you're eliminated because you didn't carry enough accumulated points. So uh, it's a tough event. You can have one little bobble and uh, then you've got to be pretty much perfect the rest of the week. And uh, it's doable and a lot of grand champions do it and that's, that's why we love the, the point system and it allows us to be fair and consistent.